everybody, Headspace Connections back with another video. We're going to be continuing our alter roles and function series. This time we're going to be talking about an alter you don't really hear a whole lot about, but they are dead or dormant alters. Now, usually these alters are hidden from the system, so the system could go years without even realizing that these guys are, are a part of it. Now, because of their dormancy, they can be stuck in a memory of trauma for years before they realize that time has actually passed. And sometimes because of that, if the trauma was intense enough that they felt like they were being killed or they were going to die, that can also cause these alters to come into existence. They can also come from a child having a near-death experience, and that alter will basically be the containment for that near-death experience. Now, I want to emphasize that alters cannot die or be killed. We'll go into a little bit on why we want to emphasize that in a little bit. But however, even though an alter is dormant, their feelings or like if something is triggering to the system and it affects them, emotional bleeding or passive influence can still affect and bleed onto everybody else in the system, whether dormant or not. Now, these alters can be revived, but if another traumatic experience happens for them, they can go dormant again. Any alter really can go dormant. And one other point I want to emphasize is that dormancy does not mean you're a failure. It just means that something happened that was a little too much for you to handle, so you had to rest, take a break for a little bit, and that's completely okay. We all need a break, especially if you have a history and are a system. And if you are a system, you most definitely have a history. So that's one thing we want to emphasize. Dormancy does not mean failure. Now, again, with the alters, they can't be killed or can't die. As long as the brain that makes them is still alive and functioning, those alters aren't going to go anywhere. They may be dormant for years, but they're still there. And one thing that in our personal experience, we have heard from non-systems or people that know systems hear about other systems trying to kill off new alters from being made because they don't want their system numbers to go up. Let me repeat this. Alters cannot die and they cannot be killed. So even though that system may feel like they've killed off that said alter, in actuality, they're probably in dormancy and then a time where they get triggered out, they will come back with a vengeance. Trying to kill off your alters is not going to help you. It is not going to help decrease any of the problems and the situations that you have going on right now. The only way that you're going to be able to do that is if you let the chips fall where they may and work with what you have. Because if you don't, the only thing you're going to do is cause yourself more problems in the long run. Do not do that. Do not do that to yourself. You've already gone through so much that made you assist made you all into a system in the first place why continue the problems and the traumas on your own self it doesn't make sense so that was a reason we wanted to emphasize that because we have heard of systems doing that so for those systems that have done that in the past or are doing that please stop doing that it is not helpful to anybody much less you I understand being a system is scary. Being a system involves a lot more than what most people think it does. It's not just alters. It's not just the PTSD. It's not just this, the other comorbid disorders that come along with that. But the only way you're going to be able to get through it is if you all work together and are accepting of each other and what each person holds and carries. So that was part, that's part of our little TED Talk. I we felt like that was necessary to put out there and we don't mean to offend anybody. We really don't. We're just very concerned when we hear about things like this happening and we just feel like it's important to get out there. But anyway, like I said, 
this is going to be the end of the video because, like I said, dead dormant alters, you don't hear a lot about them very much, so there's not really a whole lot of information on them. But this is going to be the end of the video. We hope it was helpful and insightful. And for whatever part of the world you guys are from, we hope you guys have a good day or night, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.